G'day, fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in over on the west side of the map, playing as the yellow on the French. We've got Snooper on the opposite side of the map, playing as the Abbasid dynasty in the purple. We've got the Lord himself. He is back. It's doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special show match. This show match is brought to you by Jessieology. If you don't know who Jessieology is, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can catch some of her content. She's a Twitch streamer and she's put together a little show match. So I thought, you know what? We'll check it out. We'll see how it is because as you guys know, it's already, or as you guys can already see, we've got this beautiful UI at the top and I couldn't, I couldn't help it. You know, I, whenever I see one of these games, it's a, it's a little treat for me. It's a little treat. I, 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 I don't mind it. I don't mind a little bit of a treat. Now, Let's talk about this show match, about what we can expect. So this is a best of seven show match. So that's the first player to four points. So that means either Snooper to four points, down to four points. So it could be a four matcher, could be a seven matcher, could go all the way. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes because these games are happening live over on Twitch. Once again, I'll link a dis I'll, I'll leave a link in the description where you can catch Jessie. She's uh, she's pretty funny. She's a good caster. I've, uh, I've, I've checked her out plenty of times recently on her Twitch. It is absolutely uh, great watching her cast. She did a, a recent tournament called Only Farms. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you can imagine it. It was, it was pretty hell. It was pretty hilarious. <laughs> People were only able to make farms. Uh, and uh, I mean, obviously you think like, well, the English would be a bit overpowered if you could only make farms. Well, they had like a couple of special rules in there, but hey, English is still pretty good. But let's talk a little bit about this matchup and about what we are going to be experiencing today. So we got Snoop on the French. We got Doubt on the Abbasid Dynasty. And Abbasid Dynasty, a civilization that, I mean, underrated. I will say that much. Not underrated, but people just sort of, if you were doing a tier list for the Abbasid Dynasty, you'd probably put them on like maybe B tier, maybe, maybe C tier, that kind of range. But they seem to be popping off a little bit lately. They don't really have any bad matchups. They match up very well against the civilizations that have got high pick rates. So obviously French, they've got a good win rate against. Abbasid Dynasty uh, do quite well against the Holy Roman Empire as well. So these two civilizations... I mean, if, 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 a lot, if a lot of people are picking the French, a lot of people picking the Holy Roman Empire, then Abbasid Dynasty, you know, they should be a bit better because more people are, uh, are playing those two civilizations. And we do see uh, quite regularly that Abbasid have a pretty strong matchup against the French. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing how it goes today. So the key factor here is going to be the Phalanx upgrade for Spearman. It just makes them a little bit stronger when it gets to those Feudal Age fights. Uh, I would expect that we see out of doubt here probably uh, Spearman Horsemen. Uh, it might be something different. It might be something different, uh, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, we've got the age up coming through. It's going to be the economic wing over on the other side of the map, though. For Snooper, it's going to be the School of Cavalry. No surprises there. I would expect from Snooper that we're going to see a mill dropped down and a wheelbarrow researched in the transition period, and that we would also see a knight or two come out after, uh, after that age up, and then most likely looking to try and take uh, Stone, get that second town center down on his hunt, and then really look to try and flood in those units in age two. Something that we do typically see. Now, obviously, we're on the new patch as well. One thing to remember is that on this new patch, Rams are stronger than they used to be. So don't be surprised if we see these two guys fight it out in feudal for a long bloody time. I wouldn't be surprised at all. But we see the mill going up now for doubt. He's going to be looking to drop down, uh, or looking to research his wheelbarrow. There it is coming in now. You can see wheelbarrow up in that top right-hand corner now. Just to talk a little bit about Lord Doubt himself, for anybody who's unfamiliar with this guy, an absolute behemoth of the Age of Empires scene. I appreciate we've got quite a few new guys coming in, looking at Age of Empires 4. Obviously, news of the expansion dropping soon, uh, and also the, the price drop in, uh, in specific regions around the world. I don't know exactly what's the go with that. But uh, I know that there's an influx of a lot of people. So if you're watching this for the first time and trying to understand a little bit about these players, well, we've got Snooper, who's playing in the yellow. He's an Australian, so need I say more? He's an absolutely handsome fella. And on the other side, Lord Doubt. Well, he's been around in the Age of Empires scene. I'm not even kidding you. Since like the 1990s. Probably not that. Probably not Probably not that long. But he... By... by <laughs> He's pretty old. Let's just put it that way. No. Look, and he's still incredibly active. And he's still incredibly good. Uh, he won a tournament... Uh, I think it was the Red Bull World of 3. Uh, he actually won that for Age of Empires 2 not too long ago. Uh, maybe a year and a half ago? Maybe a little bit over that? I'm not too sure exactly when that was. I can't remember, but uh, I just remember watching the games. Uh, and, and let's just put it this way. He likes to make eagles. Uh, but he's obviously come, to, come over to Age of Empires 4. He was over here for quite a bit, headed back to Age of Empires 2 because there was a bit of a dip in, you know, user base in AoE 4. But now he's back and he wants to try and get a seat at the table for the, the, I was going to say for the Outback Octagon. That is not the case for the the Red Bull Wallalol 
number five, Red Bull Wallalow Legacy. Uh, and that's that's what he's going to be looking to try and do. And you can see he's going up against Snooper here, who's a pretty formidable player. At the moment, I think Snooper sitting in the top 30 quite safely, uh, a, a very strong player. Uh, but uh, now we see Snooper doing a little bit of harassment on these villagers, just looking to be annoying. Going to turn around with those uh, with the villagers he's got. And you can see he's got the spearmen out. Got to be careful not to get that, uh, that scout stuck, but already we begin to see the spears making their way out onto the field. And, uh, and down having a good time. We can see an upgrade coming through. I'm assuming this is an upgrade. No, it's Spearman. He's got three in Q. It, for whatever reason, it doesn't come up here. It just it shows it up there. To each their own. To each their own. I do love this new UI. And by the way, this UI, you're not going to see it in every single game. It's only going to be in a few of the games that we, uh, we we cast out. It'll be in the entire series that we're doing here uh, for these two players. Uh, but it's not going to be in, in the other games. You know, you might you might stumble onto a video and be like, hey, where's that cool little UI that uh, was in that other video? Well, unfortunately not here. And Dowd got to be careful now. Villagers, unfortunately, going idle a little bit. Spear's going to be coming in. Don't get the charge off. Or, unfortunately, the knight gets the charge off. Comes in, snags the kill, and he's out. Beautiful play there from Snooper. Well done to him. We'll check in over on the other side of, of the map and see how he's doing as the second knight comes in. You can see he's looking for that charge again. And the consequence of getting these spears a little bit out of position, chasing away the knights, probably not the best thing to do. Ideally, you just want to leave your, your spearman just sitting right at the edge here, uh, just on hold position, because otherwise you can get in a bit of a tough spot. If your spearmen get too far away from your villagers, you can subsequently get hit with those charges. You can see Doubt going to be moving away these low health villagers back towards his town center. A, a very typical Age of Empires 2 move. But now we can see Snooper going to be picking up villagers on that second or for that second town center. He's going to be looking to go into the stone. He's just picked it or he's just got two royal knights. So as I suspected, it would just be two royal knights. That's about where you want it to go. One royal knight, very easy to repel with the spears. But the two, that's where things start to get hard because now you can see that a villager should have gone down. But I think he, he didn't click it in time. So you, you got to, it, it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. But essentially, you can't, uh, you can't two shot instantly. You have to do your charge, move, and then get your attack off. And that way you can do it. But now another villager going to be going down. Snooper just being relentless over on the base of Doubt. Doubt having a little bit of trouble this early on in the game. Snooper doing a great job to just keep the Abbasid player in his base. But at the same time, you can see, hold, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. We've already got 300 stone taken off this bad boy. Doubt, what are you doing with that? Don't tell me you're going for three TCs. Three TCs, look, it's probably a bit greedy, but I'm not going to say I don't like it. I'm th There's a lot of double negatives in there. Actually, probably only one double negative in there. Uh, but it looks like it's just going to be the 2TC play. He does pull the villagers back, so might just be going for arrow slits. May have just not been paying attention to the stone. Realized, oh, a little bit too late. But now Spear up to the north. Going to be looking to fight up against the Royal Knight. Should be able to get the kill here. One more shot. Should do it. Does indeed get the kill. Very nice trade there, Snooper. Unfortunately, falling asleep at the keyboard. Not something that we that we regularly see. Still got a couple more knights back here. We do see the second town center coming down on the hunt, as expected. And this is going to power him up. Going to make sure he's got plenty of resources here to get this attack going out. But he's gone for a second range this early on in the game. Very curious. Typically, you'd, you'd normally see a second stable out. You just won't have the wood economy to support this unless you go for that double broad axe, which he hasn't gone for just yet. So I would expect that we see that double broad axe out a little bit sooner rather than later probably a transition of villagers or at least rallying the villagers over to wood indeed he is rallying those villagers over to wood but now over on the back side we see doubt could be dropping down that town center on the berries beautiful little spot here one of the, the key factors here is do not forget do not forget to drop a mill down on these berries uh, because as you can see these berries bushes have got 250 in them but all of a sudden once you've got a mill nearby now don't worry about that circle it's just there for fun and games which it, it's just there to you know to represent it but now now these berry bushes 350 out of 250. I know it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit wacky. How can something be 350 over 150, over 250? It doesn't make sense. Well, look, it ain't the first thing. It ain't the last thing to not make sense in Age of Empires 4. That is definitely going to be the case. But uh, we'll check in with Snooper, see how he's doing. Rallying one town center to gold. He's got 16 villages on food at the moment. Probably not going to be enough to support a serious uh, feudal push here. So we'll look to see how he plays it. I would suspect we see Blacksmith coming down soon. It definitely doesn't seem like a, a, a hyper-committed um, a, a hyper committed feudal age, but I guess he has been quite aggressive in, in his use of archers though. So probably going to be looking to try and hit, and we do see the stable coming out from his opponent as well. So it's going to be horseman. So as we suspected, horseman spear up against the archer knight. Very typical in the, in this matchup, it, it, what you would expect to see most of the time. And now a second stable going to be coming out, and this is what you've got to be careful of, because for Snooper, his defense... It's all about making sure his archers stay alive in 
large enough numbers that he can one-shot the spears. As soon as he's unable to one-shot the spears, that's when he's going to have some trouble. So one of the key factors here for Snooper is mixing in his own spears as soon as he can. So even at this point in the game, I would be saying, hey, Snooper, throw down a barracks. You throw down a barracks, and that's when things start getting a little bit sour for the Abbasid player. That's where you start to have a bit more of advantage because you've got the knights, and the knights are really what are going to leverage that because the knights don't care who they're attacking. When you've got a million units and knights are attacking something, that's great because the knights have got a really high base damage. They're not specialized. You take a look at the knight. It does, it, it does 20 damage, full stop. Look at the archer. It's a specialized unit. It does five with five against light melee infantry, which is your spearmen. Spearmen on the other side does eight with 20 against cavalry. They're very specialized units. And by the same token, the horseman... Oh, Lord. You gotta be careful here, Snooper. Snooper throwing away a second knight. And with the French, you really want to avoid throwing away knights because with chivalry, you can get these guys back up to full health. And once again, the horseman, it is a specialized unit. Now, oh, jeez. Everyone's throwing away units today. Snooper gonna be lucky, fortunate, picking up a... Not going to pick up the second uh, spearman. Oh my lord, look at the spears that we got out now for doubt. This is a beautiful number of spears. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a lot here to protect the archers. This is going to be difficult for Snoop, but Dow could be looking to try and engage. Does a great little screen. Unfortunately, gets skewered over on that position up against the spears. He's going to try his best to pick them up, but unfortunately, there's not enough archers here. I don't think he's going to be able to one-shot these bad boys, especially if plus ones come in. It doesn't look like it's coming just yet. You can see him falling back away from this position. Look how much damage he's doing. He's trying to one-shot the, the spears. He's unfortunately not doing it, and now the archers, unfortunately, just... Oh, this is terrible. Terrible for Snooper right here. It's rare that I get emotive. But I can't help but feel like he may have overcommitted a little bit too early. And this is part of the reason why I, I do like going for an early second stable. It makes a lot of sense in this matchup because you're able to uh, escape. In the event that you overcommit, you can just escape with your knights and you get out. And you've still got something to show. What does Snooper have to show right now? He's got two knights. One of which is about to die. Things not looking good for Snooper. Not at the moment. Snooper not on form today. This is not good, Snoop Dog. You've got to pick your game up right now, son check back in over with doubt and see how he's doing it doesn't look like he's gone for any more of a second town center or third town center i should say second one already down he's going to be adding in more houses we'll take a look and see how far he is along that house of wisdom uh, golden age he's at 16 of 30 at the moment so about halfway through i suspect he's going to be looking to connect this town center to the network actually does he have all of this connected to the network it looks like he does so make sure you've always got those buildings connected to the network we can see he's done a great job so far in just connecting everything out but now the battering ram going to be coming in. Remember, the Abbasid Dynasty do get siege engineering for free. You don't actually have to research it. It's already researched. In fact, you don't even need to build a blacksmith. If you take a look at the at the French as an example, you actually have to build a blacksmith to get their free uh, melee attack upgrade. Uh, but you don't have to do that with the Abbasid. You just get it for free at the beginning of the game. You can technically make Dark Age ramps if you will, if you've got that much, if you've got that many balls, or if your balls are that big. Uh, YouTube, please don't demonetize me. Um, then you can definitely do it. But now a, a bit of a power play move coming out from doubt at the moment not only is he pushing with a force that is very formidable he's also aging up to the next stage now moving forward posturing looking pretty decent in this position he tries to hold on but now we can see snoopers added in his own spears and this is the right decision from snooper hopefully we've got double barrack spears indeed it is going to be double barrack spears which is the right choice but it looks like it might not be enough and the consequence of taking that earlier fight and getting just absolutely destroyed means that now all of a sudden you just don't have the units to deal with what your enemy's throwing down at you unfortunately for snooper he's going to have to give up this second town center if he wants to if he wants to stay in the game and that's going to be a, a really sad factor it makes it difficult for him to actually win from this position because now almost guaranteed he's going to be losing this second town center or his army he has to choose one and unfortunately it looks like it might even be both villagers turning towards the battering ram looking to try and take it out they're always going to be able to repair up that town center melee units just completely surrounding the remaining units here of snooper he's going to try his best to keep his head above water but things not looking the prettiest for him. Fortunately, he manages to keep his head above water for now. Does save the town center as well. Keeps a fair amount of his army, but obviously, doubt. He's thinking about other things. He's thinking, well, how about that castle age, boys? And indeed, how about that castle age? Outpost in the center of the map. Looking to provide line of sight. Mill coming down as well. Looking to try and take advantage of those berries. Keep in mind with the Abbasid, you always want to be throwing those down. And now we see what we would expect to see in this matchup. Mass Spearmen going to be coming out. Mass Spearmen men at arms by the looks of it. Uh, so plenty of barracks coming down. So there's going to be the second as well as the third barracks coming down for Doubt. Now Doubt looking very formidable. The fact he's been away from Age of Empires 4 for so long and just strolls back in. I think he strolled back in within the last week and he's just looking this good. It is impressive stuff. 
All right, well, we'll take a look and see what upgrades come through for the way of doubt. We can see over on Snooper's side, he's going to be going for a lot of economic upgrades. We see double Broadaxe coming in, a Horticulture coming in, Forestry coming in, and Specialized Pick also coming in. He's also picking up that plus one ranged armor, looking to try and get that Iron Undermesh. But uh, it feels like it might be a little bit too late, um, just because typically in, in this matchup, I mean, Iron Undermesh, kind of irrelevant in the early game. And then once your enemy's up in Castle, well, they're not really going to be focusing that much on ranged units, are they? But we'll take a look and see exactly what we've got coming in. And you can see Dow dropping down a huge amount of Lancers and Spears. He's just going Lancer Spear composition, a really smart composition uh, in this matchup. It just makes so much sense. Very difficult to deal with as well, uh, because when the French player is, when, you've got to th when you're playing as the French, think about the way that you're microing, right? It's your knights and your archers, and you're, you're kiting backwards. Your enemy moving forwards, you're kiting backwards the whole time. Nice little raid in here. One villager going to be going down. You're trying to pick off the spearmen, but at the same time, your archers are getting killed by the lancers, and the lancers are able to keep up with the knights. And the spearmen, they're just running nonstop. They're just running you down, and they've got pretty high speed. Throw in their charge as well. So they've got 1.25 movement speed. Throw in the charge, and you're talking about 1.5 movement speed. Like, the these units are pretty darn good. Villager does go down. Doubt sitting on 66. Villager Snooper on 63. So I don't know whether he had a little bit of idle time or may have lost a few villagers over in the in the, the tassel that happened a little bit earlier. But Snooper looking to commit to age two at this point in time. Adding out a few more outposts up towards the north. Raid going to be coming down over on the south side. You can see that he's been gathering up some stone. A little bit of a sneaky third town center perhaps for Snooper. But now more units moving across the map. Exactly what he needs to do. Raid going to get cleaned up. Trying his best to hold on. Those knights getting some decent charges off. And now at the same time, units are over on the on, in the backside of Snooper's base going to get taken out. Veteran Spearman through. This is going to push the uh, the units or the uh, rather the health of the Veteran Spearman up to 110 with the plus one ranged armor and plus two coming in. That means they're taking eight damage a shot from the archers. So it means that the archer number, so you can see 13. I don't know if we've got any good mathematicians here, but 13 times 8, it ain't enough to kill 110 health with two ranged armor. You do not one-shot these spears. And that's why it's so important to get up to the castle age here. Snooper going to be looking to do that. He's sitting on 106 population at the moment compared to Doubt, who's on 108. They're looking to even it up, but now that second town center going to be under attack again. 69 villagers for Snooper, 70 villagers for Doubt. Now, if Snooper's, Snooper's playing this right, he'll be looking to go for the Royal Institute, and that's going to be the case. Royal Institute coming down. Definitely the right decision, but he, he appreciates there's just way too many units here for him to really challenge at this point. He needs to keep making spears and looks to try and get that look to try and get that veteran upgrade as soon as possible. Maybe even mix in some crossbows. It could be smart for him to do, but he does lose that second town center. A consequence of that initial battle. It all goes back down to that initial battle. That little bit of an overextension. Remember when Snooper looked to try and put an outpost down over here? He pushed forward with his archers, pushed forward with his cavalry, and unfortunately he got, well, how do you say? rinsed he got completely and utterly rinsed uh but uh, he's looking to try and get that age up through now now i'm curious what direction he goes but i would suspect he goes away from cavalry just when when you combine the phalanx upgrade here for the veteran spearman uh in addition to to just having veteran spears it makes it so damn difficult to deal with and now those spears going to be moving out for snooper he's got a pretty decent number here tries to hold on a little bit we're going to see if he gets those upgrades coming through we'll be looking for them at the top of the screen the spearman looking to hold in underneath the tree line for the moment scout going to be coming in dedicating itself off to the people that the people of his his, uh, his nation but a uh, huge mass right now of these lancers. The key factor here is that you don't want your spears fighting against the lancers. You need your spears, or rather, you don't want your spears fighting against the spears. You need them to be poking the lancers, and if they're not, it can be a terrible outcome for you. But it looks like Snooper holding on a little bit on, a longer on. We do see the veteran uh, veteran royal knights could be coming through. He's looking decent, but the spear numbers here, not looking terrible. We do see more reinforcements coming in for doubt over from that west side, or rather east side. Now, unfortunately, a little bit of a cleanup going to be coming through. This is not looking good for Snooper. The town center was getting worked on by that battering ram. Village is going to be able to repel it and take it down. They do a decent job of cleaning it up. A single sheep carcass remains underneath the town center for Snooper at this point in time. I don't know if that's going to be what he needs, though. Arbolatria finally coming out for Snooper. Looking to hold on a little bit longer. But unfortunately, there's just so much cavalry. Coming in underneath this town center. He's got it everywhere. And now forward keep this. I tell you what. It's rare that I say these things look doubtful, but at this point in time, I've, I have no doubt 
that this keep is getting up. Whether he brings one villager, whether he brings 10, we'll take a look and see how many he's got coming across the map because I suspect it may be a small army of villagers. We see nine of them moving across the map. There is no doubt in my mind that this keep is getting up. And that's going to be the nail in the coffin for Snooper. As soon as he sees those fortifications going up with the amount of units that are sitting down here, I suspect it's just going to be good game for him. He'll, he'll just tap it out. He'll throw the tower straight away because th there is no way that you come back from a keep. The, why is this keep so strong? This keep is so strong because it sits on the production. Right now, Snoop is staying alive because the production here is allowing his units to come in and bolster. But as soon as that keep goes up, the production from here no longer comes through. And the keep foundations are going to come down, dropping on that position. Snooper suffering a little bit of a raid over towards that west side. And Doubt looking in like an increasingly uh, good position. And Snooper struggling to keep his head above water as the Spears clean up his units and good game gets called. With Snooper tapping out, it is going to be Doubt taking the first game in this series. Fellas, if you've enjoyed this one, make sure you check out Jesseology. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can catch a absolutely great caster. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.